The NYPD Hate Crimes Task Force now looking for the man behind a disgusting act on the Upper West Side. Police say the man you see here entered the building on West 95th Street a couple of weeks ago and defecated on a pride flag and then wiped himself with the flag before running off onto Amsterdam Avenue. Nobody was physically hurt. All right, guys, so we got to talk about a hilarious story uh, involving an NYC homeless man because we're talking about the homeless in NYC. We've been talking about them a lot, okay? And it seems like we have a homeless man that really is having an injustice committed against them. And the woke revolutionaries are silent, okay? They're silent about this injustice that is happening to this homeless man out in New York because we were told that, hey, we're supposed to care about these people. We're supposed to treat them, okay? And we're supposed to help them. We're not supposed to send them to jail especially for petty crimes right but again the walk revolutionaries are silent on this one as we have an nyc homeless man who happens to be black as well do or he looks black uh he was charged with a hate crime for defecating on a pride flag and wiping his behind his butt with a pride flag as well again tragic story for multiple reasons okay uh, so let's get into it because again, I find this story to be hilarious, but at the same time, tragic. Uh, you can get away with just about anything in New York City, but don't you dare disrespect the rainbow flag. A homeless man has been charged with multiple hate crimes for defecating on one LGBTQ plus pride flag and wiping his backside with another. Fred Innocent, <laughs> 45, <laughs> walked into uh, Busio 95, a tapas bar in manhattan and grabbed two rainbow flags from a table he relieved himself on one and wiped it out with the other <laughs> nypd crop stoppers posted his tweet before eventually arresting the man all right so here's the problem okay when jordan neely was unfortunately choked to death by a marine okay or you know, accidentally, you know, choked to death. I think that the Marine, Daniel Penny, I think he actually tried to put him to sleep and he probably was executing the the hold uh, incorrectly and, and, and probably accidentally killed a guy. I, I, I think that's what happened. But what the woke revolutionaries told us is that when Jordan Neely was on the subway station and he, you know, allegedly was screaming about how he was hungry and, you know, he needed help. And, you know, he just, again, wanted some food. And, you know, New Yorkers on the subway station, instead of being afraid, right, that the guy was going to, you know, threaten them because, you know, the guy does have a history of, you know, assaulting people, including elderly folks. No, no, you're supposed to help him. Um, I'm just trying to figure out why in the world is this homeless man not getting the same benefit of the doubt? Why are they trying to arrest and charge a homeless man for using a pride flag to take a dump and to wipe his butt, I mean, the guy needs some toilet paper, right? He needs toilet paper. Why did anybody give him some toilet paper? That's all he needed. Why is he, why is he being arrested for this? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. To me, this sounds like kink shaming, right? I mean, who knows if this guy was actually LGBTQ. Maybe he was trying to add a brown strip to the, to the flag. Who knows? I'm just saying, to me, this sounds cruel. This is not how you're supposed to be treating the homeless in New York City. You're supposed to allow him to just get away with anything. I don't understand why you charge this man when he simply just needed a place to use the bathroom and it's just a flag, right? It's a material object. A material object is not worth more than this man's freedom. This is a tragedy, right? I demand justice for this guy. I don't understand why he's been arrested and charged for this. This is outrageous, okay? Okay. To me, this is racist, right? You can't charge a man for this, okay? So, yeah, I mean, they, they was going after this guy hardcore, okay? Uh, New York City, which is notorious for being soft on crime, woke DA Alvin Brack. It, it seems like the only crimes this man is concerned about is white-on-black crimes, white-collar crimes that were allegedly committed by the former president of the United States, and crimes against, you know, <laughs> the woke communities, Okay. That just seems to be the only thing this man is concerned about. Again, it's funny because this guy could have been having a mental breakdown.
But you don't hear that narrative coming from the media. You don't hear anybody <laughs> giving this man the benefit of the doubt and say, hey, you know, this guy was having a mental breakdown. Give him a break. Okay, why are you slapping this man with hate crime charges when he was having a mental breakdown? He just needed some help. Okay, we don't really know if he did it because it was, you know, some type of homophobia or whatever. Again, he could have been having a mental breakdown. But see, again, if you're homeless and you're black and you happen to be on a subway system and you're yelling at people, tell them that you, you, you want to kill them, okay, threaten them. You have a history of, you know, assaulting people, kidnapping. It, it just so happens, uh, you know, you lose your life in an act of self-defense because somebody decided to stop you before you made good on your promise. They're going to say that, well, you know, that homeless person had mental health issues, right? <laughs> right. They're going to be screaming about mental illness. Why is this man not getting the same benefit of the doubt? He was having an episode. We got to get this man a benefit of the doubt. It's just amazing how this works. Uh, but CO95 owner Courtney Barrow told the New York Daily News she hangs the pride flag in her restaurant to show she welcomes the gay community. Quote, this was a total hate crime. Barrow said, quote, he could have gone to Popeye's or McDonald's around the corner. He could have used napkins. Again, such a lack of consideration for what this man is going through. He could have had diarrhea, okay? He could have had to go then and there. The pride flag was the closest object or thing that he could use to relieve himself and to clean up. Again, to me, this sounds like so much hate towards homeless people, okay? These, again, just a lack of sensitivity for this man's situation and what he's going to, going through. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Innocent allegedly <laughs> carried out the act beneath surveillance ca cameras in the dining shed. And Barrow said detectives worked tirelessly to track down the homeless man. Tirelessly, right? He, they worked tirelessly to track down this homeless man, right? So they put so much resources into this, this, this guy, okay? Again, amazing. Such a lack of consideration for the homeless here. Uh, quote, I want to thank the NYPD detectives for catching him. She said, they worked so hard on this. Again, they're much more concerned about this than it seems to be that they're concerned about, you know, all the other crimes and stuff being committed in the city. Like actual real, you know, acts of violence being committed in the city. Uh, if only NYC worked so diligently to track down and imprison violent and career criminals instead of their current catch and release policy. Investigators trace innocent to a shelter in Harlem, he faced charges of burglary, harassment, and trespassing all as hate crimes. For good measure, they also hit him with additional non-hate crime trespassing and burglary. Innocent is currently awaiting arraignment. Quote, if I'm asked to go to court, I'm going to press for the maximum poss charge possible, Barrow said. After the incident, she vowed to her staff she add more flags to the restaurant. Quote, I said, don't worry because for the two flags that he has taken from us, I will put 50 more up, Barrow said, and I'll wallpaper the whole restaurant with that. Well, good for you. Good for you. Again, clearly, I mean, the guy, you know, because he stole the flag, right? He stole somebody's property. Clearly, he should be charged. But I do think there's a double standard here in regards to what is socially acceptable and what's not socially acceptable when it comes to um, vandalizing flags, okay? According to New York State, a hate crime happens when a victim is targeted because of a perception or belief about their race, color, national origin, ancestry, gender, religion, religious practice, age, disability, or sexual orientation. These crimes can target an individual, a group of individuals, or property. Burning or desecrating an American flag, however, is protected speech and not a crime. That's according to the Supreme Court. So if Fred Innocent had only taken a dump on old glory, that would have been just fine. Exactly. Ding, 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 ding. You can take a dump on the American flag. You can shit all over it. Wipe your behind with it multiple times, okay? Until you rip the flag open, okay? Um, and you won't be charged with a hate crime. But if you do it to a pride flag or maybe a BLM flag or whatever, then, you know, you're going to be charged with a hate crime. And, you know, I'm one of these people that, you know, hey, I, I believe in freedom of speech. OK, I believe that if you can vandalize the American flag, you should be able to vandalize other flags regardless of intent. OK, and uh, you should be able to get away with it. Right. That is freedom of speech. That is freedom of speech. OK, even there are some conservatives who don't like flag burning, who think you should be punished for burning the American flag. I, I actually don't believe that. I believe that if you can burn the American flag, you should burn every other flag. 
I don't agree with it. I don't think that people should be doing it. I think it's dumb and disrespectful, but I don't think people should be punished for it, right? That is America, right? You're allowed to freely say that you hate the country, okay? Um, and, you know, to do those type of things without going to jail. But apparently you don't get that benefit of the doubt when it comes to uh, a woke flag, right? If you uh, <laughs> shit on a woke flag, then apparently, again, that's hate speech which I think is just ridiculous. AOC is quiet on this, okay? But for people that are supposed to be so pro to homeless, okay? And keeping homeless people out of jail and prison for petty crimes, AOC and the progressives are silent. They're silent on this one. They don't have much to say about this, okay? I don't know why they're not raising money for this man's defense so that he can, you know, uh, get out of this and also get get a home, okay? Because, you know, he's houseless as well too, right? Get him some toilet paper. I'm just saying. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.